All right. We're continuing on with our interview with uh, Gabby. Abby. Abby. <laughs> See, that's how much I know. That's why I let them talk, right? All right. So we're, you're here with the Keith Allen Show live on the Facebook platform uh, with your host and DJ KJ, DJ Smooth LA, bringing to you another awesome place to go and eat and enjoy some great, fresh tasting food. Okay. So we're here at Sage Restaurant in the city of Baldwin Park in uh, off of 4019 Main Street. All right. So we're going to continue on with the interview with Abby right here and I want to ask her some specific questions uh, uh, such things as age the, the time you started I we talked about uh, your age around 19 what were you doing at that age of 19 I mean I was going to school I was I was going to community college I had a full ride uh, to Biola University and um, I was going to school working two jobs uh, waitressing in the daytime lunch and then you know cocktail waitressing at nights as a low income um, Latina, like I just knew that um, in order to survive, I had to work. So I went to school, and I and I really, really, and and going to work was a privilege for me. I was raised with that notion. That work ethic, right? Yeah. Work ethic was right. important to me. Um, so that's how I got. So yeah, so we talked about a little bit at that age eighteen. You're working. At I a, worked a for restaurant? a Cuban restaurant there first. You go. Cuban restaurant. He what recruited me yeah. out of a out of a little uh, Bionico spot. Um, he came and, and realized, wow, this girl is just on her own, running this little shop. And he offered, hey, why don't you come and work for me? It was a new restaurant. And I was like, sure, why not? And um, what, what, what city was this local? It was in La Habra. We're, okay. I'm from La Habra. Oh, okay. From Orange County. Uh, it was called uh, it was called Moro's Cuban Restaurant. They're, unfortunately, they're not in business anymore. Oh, okay. I was going to say little plug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're not. Um, but I worked there for about three years. I brought in my family brought everybody to work for the per for the wow. for the restaurant yeah. um, so I had I typically have such a strong influence everywhere I work because I when you elevate things and you have a strong worth it you okay. kind of have to bring people that come alongside with that mentality so yes it helps a lot to it be, you know it, it, it just like a, a you know goodwills on a, on a train car you know you can't have one bad on a car you have one bad it, it, everything it takes a team doesn't it takes work. a team in this industry team efforts good yeah right. so uh, now let's get uh, let's get to talking about the schooling. Uh, I asked you earlier about your schooling. Uh, what kind of schooling did you have? Did you have any food prep schooling or no? No, no I I I have never gone to any in in this industry schooling. Just goes to show you don't necessarily need to have it to you do don't. what she's doing. Right? Absolutely, absolutely not. I mean, you can I I could really even break it down to you that um you know I go home and I watch Kitchen Nightmares and I watch all these <laughs> industry shows and YouTube is always available um, and that's really like how I've I, and, you know practice and error and and the passion for it and making it your own and unique I really feel like my recipes um, are myself and I'm always always working hard to taste and make better but I didn't have to go to school I mean I studied for to be an attorney and I realized it wasn't for me you know I didn't see myself in an office I really didn't see myself um, that's a long-term career too. It's, a it's long like a term. doctor right yeah you got to study constantly constantly yeah. not to say that you don't add food because there are new concepts sometimes oh, right, right? with food and right. how to enhance it or Absolutely. add something different and right so talking about the, the food we had you had said something about a hot dog I know <laughs> I, I <laughs> have was gone, the story it, it was interesting cuz cuz I I've incorporated the hot dogs after owning two restaurants prior to them during the pandemic, I started um, slanging hot dogs out of my car, out of my house in the literally on on, on in a little hot dog cart I had I had purchased. How old were you at this time? I was I was I had just had my daughter, so I was twenty seven. Okay. And, and so at this time you you had that entre entrepreneurial Absolutely. concept in your head like Absolutely. I, you know I don't, I'm tired of working for other people yeah. I want to do my own thing be a business person I've always you know? I've always been my own owner since 21 right uh, 21 22 23 I had 20 employees Whoa. yeah all of I, I employ right now 20 20 about my crew members from all my, from both of my restaurants are about 20 deep so at a really young age so I have a lot of way hairs um, <laughs> at a very young age I was, I was, I threw myself into something, and I mean, I'm, I'm constantly dealing with, with, with a team, yeah. and, um, and the hot dogs. It's funny because you go from, from having so much to, you know, your business is shutting down. 
So saying, you know what? Like, how can I be a one man show? And I love hot dogs. I uh, absolutely same love here. Hot I wanted dogs. to have a hot dog cart. All right, everybody, everybody, and it's something that I was like, okay, what can I, what can I do that I, that I feel like is, is different? And that turned into a, an experience where I had my kitchen. I had three of my ladies prepping, prepping onions, pico de gallo. I mean, I was selling over 150 hot dogs within four to five hours. So let me let me cut into this quickly yeah, yes. because I'll turn, there's a couple of things that just came to my mind right away. Yeah. The, the the main person or the strong person that helps you out and. How do you feel at, at this point in time in your life of what you have accomplished at your young age right now? That that, that is it a, like amazing to you, or do you feel like you know what? I knew I could do this, you know. You know, I. That's 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 a very good question. Um, I think for the past ten years of my life, I have just been going and going and going. That I've never really stopped and said like. Wow, I'm proud of myself, and um, give us a pat on the back or I, somebody I, else. You know, do you we? Know, need- I, I don't, I don't think like anything's ever enough for me. I think I really generally believe that I, 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 I am a different person. That I am very hard on myself, and um, perfectionist. I am. Right? I yeah. to to an extent. I say I'm a Virgo, so which is one of the hardest signs to be, and um, I have very high standards and high expectations within myself. And um, I am proud of my accomplishments. I see the past ten years of my life um, and everything I've had, and I've had a lot, and I've had nothing. Ups and downs. I've had ups and downs like many of us, but you persevered though. I have, and I think. I think the biggest thing about myself is like I'm a risk taker. Yeah. And you have to be in this kind you of have to. environment. Right? And if you don't go all in and you don't put, you know, I, I tell, with you, everybody sees now this corner and they're amazed. And I, I am. Everybody, <laughs> it, it didn't take money. It didn't take, it, it just took time and, and effort. Me and my fiance were on offer up all day long. I mean, you come in here, a lot of this stuff, it's available. It's affordable. You don't need $100,000. I started with my first Cuban restaurant at 21. I had $10,000 stashed. And I bought that restaurant for $20,000. Oh my goodness. Which is now worth half of, over like half a million because of oh. what it generates. So oh. I, I tell and I encourage everybody that to be free, you know, to, to, to have something, it, you have to invest in it. But yet, to answer your question is, I'm not gonna stop. I, Good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be content. I'm not gonna be complacent. Um, I know, as my culture as a Hispanic, my family and your workers, they, you know, you work your nine to five and and they're done. And I'm still going. Yeah. I don't stop. I'm still. I, I mean, there's days we don't go to bed till two in the. I mean, there every yeah. day we don't go to bed till two in the morning and get to work at five in the morning. Yeah, because having a business is like almost a twenty four seven thing. Rest uh, and food. Know food dies yeah it's in perishable. within two to three days yeah. so my standards are, are are even higher yes because you know it's important to keep a place a work environment that's clean that's fresh and that's the difference between my restaurant is that's what we provide so dealing with perishable foods is already a challenge within itself I don't go to work and stock my shelves and hope and sell no I I go to work every day and I know I need to produce because the food's gonna die so fortunately I've been able to do that, and that's a big secret: is um, is is having good stuff so your food is constantly rotating. But it's a challenge. Um, again, I, I, in many people's eyes, and I can't hang around with women or 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 my age because I kind of am like, are you, you know, there's moving, more. They're, yeah, their ideas in somewhere else. Right. And, it's yeah. like, how do you, you know? And I, I think the secret is, is is free time. I really encourage all of my friends and women and my millennials is is try to not have as much free time because our mind is our enemy. You know, it Put all it to better use. <laughs> exactly, it all starts from here. And even like yourself, like I, I you have to have a passion for what you do. Mm-hmm. I love this. I, you, I can tell, <laughs> like it gets you excited yes. and. Um, and it's a gift. It's it's your service. Yes. You know, and I'm passionate about this industry because I get to I get to deal with 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 You're customers. Person, yeah. I'm a people person, yes. and 
and um Little, little bit, uh, there's so much there. Yeah. Uh, now let's talk about like who are your strong points in your life right now. Well, obviously your fiance. It, yeah. It's almost a given that you right. have to have that. But like your staff. Let's talk about your staff that you have and uh, who Absolutely. you have employed with you right now. Absolutely. And, I mean, one thing for sure I want to uh, just insert here is when I first arrived, how friendly the the person was that yeah, came up to good, me good. and right away as I walked in the door it was like hello when bienvenidos you know yeah, <laughs> I, was I, like, that, I was yeah. welcomed I love that because you know going to a place where they're saggy faced not happy they're angry at something they bring it to work and right. you can feel it right. and you see it and right. you you feel bad after they're like uh, yeah what do you want you know I'm like oh right. shoot or they have a mean attitude right. I'm like I won't come back here again right. you know so customer service happiness on a face even though you feel you don't want to the pleasure of talking to somebody that yeah. has a good uh, bubbly attitude is so important in this hospitality industry Absolutely. and food so let's talk about that let's talk about who you have in your restaurant at this time um well I mean I could start from from Let's talk about your fiance first. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, my fiance is is along my side, twenty four hours a day, <laughs> seven oh, days a week. Oh, oh, oh. Um, All right. But he really has been a blessing in my life. Um, he it, again, he motivated, he pushed me to take this on. Oh, good. And um, I, it's nice to have a male figure and like a backing. I haven't had it in the past ten years, and things shift and change. Because we're, I'm still a woman, you know, and I'm in a man's industry. And finally having that partner um, has made a world of difference, you know, because my abilities are, are, are here. But when you have a companionship that comes and really believes in what you do and are on the same page and, um, and is willing to say, you know what, like, hey, I need this, this, this done. I mean, today he put up like 10 shelves and fixed like three different things. And, and I mean, he created the patio. He did that wow. overnight. And like, just, you know, I had handyman before and he was kind of like, you know what? I could do this myself. And just having that support is really allows me to focus on my craft, you know, on focusing on my food, focus on my girls training, you know, um, challenging them to say, you know what, you know, leave it at the door whatever I it's life is already hard enough and I always encourage them you know what we're about to have an amazing day and just that smile and that experience and us like providing that we have to understand that each guest that walks in the door is paying for our bills mm. it's paying for for the for 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 everything that 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 comes with it and I just believe that that's just like I when you carry a certain way in standards, they share and they rub off to your team. So another big imper per person in my life has been my father. Uh, my father has been a minister his whole life. So starting really young at the food missions and, you know, Saturday oh, wow. okay. and dealing with food um, and service and fellowship, which I talked about earlier, that was food for us, you know. Um, and my father has been in a free employee for over 10 years and he's my produce guy he's my vending my food cost is tremendously low because my father has been able to be that man for me in my life and and I wanted to interject I'm sorry to course. cut you off right there but I, I had to say it because you have to it, it's so awesome when you have a person that uh, is like your fiance or your father oh, yeah. that you can you can trust as an extension of yourself Absolutely. they you know you could trust them because they think like you yeah, they they go beyond something that you would think to help you out in your business Absolutely. so that you don't have to worry i know it in my business and what i do in my life and my wife when she's around me i could trust her i Absolutely. know that she she knows what i like what i don't like how to do things and that's an extension of me right. so i don't have to be saying no like this like that no like this and right, right. it's all wrong no <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. when you get people that understand and get it yeah. oh it's such a plus so I, I i just wanted to interject on that too so that everybody that are out there watching you know what i'm talking about if you have a person in your life that's like that all right great for you so yeah, absolutely. now let's get back to your, your the people in, in the business right now here at sage and in, in baldwin park absolutely mm -hmm. my team um you know starting from raymond who's been with, with me for eight years um, he's a lot older and he could be retired by now, but I know he's still there and he's still available and he's managing my other place and has watched my businesses for years. 
um, with me, and I've learned a lot from him. You know, he he. I have employees that that are literally living living in little RVs that I've accumulated because I'm a little hoarder. <laughs> but um, you know, they're immigrants that are coming here now, and I'm able to provide a home for them wow. and a full time job, and um, wow. and they awesome. have a work ethic that that is exceptional and my sisters that have helped me with the front of the house starting the person who greeted me yeah, yeah absolutely okay. actually she's america is is actually an extension of like a cuñada of oh, really? the waitresses <laughs> over there and you know you'll never really see like a help wanted sign at my restaurant because it's like, hey, Abby, my cuñada or my tío or somebody They're needs a job. <laughs> and it's, it is a family business. Outstanding, yes. So, and we are hiring. We're always open to hire. So America, that's your sister's that's name. Her, that, no, that's, the, that's my waitress's name. Oh, okay, America. waitress, okay. Brisi, you'll see at, at the other place, which everybody knows Priscilla. And I work with America Ferrer. That's why I, oh, okay, I, I recognize that name. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like America. Okay, so continue. No, but uh, my team and, and uh, they just make it happen. I... I can't stress that and I tell everybody like as a culture we think we could do it all on our own and I mean right now I you know it's Monday we had a busy weekend everybody wanted their day off I come in and I cover mm. and I you'll never see a formal schedule I'm not a formal person mm. you'll never see somebody a punch-in card a schedule I just believe in like I have leaders I believe in leadership I, t I train and I tell them like hey you are responsible for yourself and people take that very Good. personally and they take that to heart and um and it's worked um but now it's getting a little bit crazy where i'm dealing with more people so Ooh. um again that's an asset that i have with my partner that's able to bring structure into my business and we're going to be talking with him shortly yeah, too. We're, yeah, gonna, yeah. we're going to be bringing him back in Absolutely. again give me give me your, his name again it's george george that's george. right jorge in spanish jorge. right yeah. okay george we all so, call him george yeah we'll now. be bringing him in here too pretty soon because yeah. i know he's been waiting patiently on the wings over here uh and Absolutely. there's so much to talk about there's there just is. a lot we could go on for for day i think till the end of the day yeah but like i said i want to i don't want to take all your time because i know you have a rest no, no, restaurant no, yeah, to run yeah. over there so why don't why don't i just uh Go ahead and let's set up for your, your fiance to come in Absolutely. so we can start asking them some questions and uh, we'll take care of that so the people can hear what George has to say, okay? Yeah, All right, we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> the Keith Allen Show.